And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another random game, and I've got an old game for you today. Not all the random games are going to be new. This game is old. This is Scorched Earth. This is a game that I grew up with, and that's really saying something. That means it's old. This game, as you can see from the copyright, came out sometime between 1991 and 1995. Most people seem to think 1993. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. I'll try to explain it as we go. We're going to have uh, three players, and we're only going to go five rounds. This actually goes five rounds to a thousand rounds. Whoever tried to play this for a thousand rounds, I don't know, but part of me says that I want to try it one of these days, but I'm not going to. Not today. Not for you guys. We're just going to get started. Uh, this is actually a tank shooter. This is an awesome game. Like I have said, we would just play it all the damn time. I don't think I can be that guy. Uh, this is the shareware version of the game because the game is very difficult to find uh, these days. Uh, we're going to go... Okay, the green guy can be here. Uh, he can be a moron. And then purple guy can be this model. And he can be a pool shark. Uh, this is their difficulty level here. It goes from moron through shooter, pool shark, tosser, chooser, spoiler, and cyborg. And then a random. Um, obviously, cyborg being the toughest. I think with cyborg, um, like it, it only requires one or two shots before before it actually kills you. You'll see what I mean when we load. Oh, look at that loading. Oh, you are so jealous of, of this game's graphical interface. We are here. There we are in the corner. I am not very creative with my names. And we have a baby missile, and as you can see here, I have a power and angle, and that's pretty much all they're telling me. Oh, and the wind's blowing this way against me. Now, I know you probably can't see him because he's the same damn color as the, uh, the earth here, but there is the green guy down here, and here is the purple guy. Uh, purple guy is going to be my target. I am here, of course. Uh, but first, I'm going to need to raise my angle. It works just like... Um, well, they're in degrees, so you can figure it out from there. It goes from uh, 0 to 90, and then, well, not 90. Oh, it does go to 90, and then it lowers from there. Uh, obviously, you don't want to shoot at 90 unless there's a very heavy wind, and then the power goes from 0 to 1,000. Uh, uh, we're going to try to go uh, for the purple guy first. Unfortunately, the only missile that I have, as you can see, is the baby missile, so we shall try to hit him, let's see, 600, somewhere around there. You don't need to be exact. In times of trouble, I didn't even see it, so we're going to need to go higher than that, and green guy is stupid. How the hell did you get an upgrade already, purple? What the hell? I'm trying to explain how this game works, and you've already cheated. So, do I have anything else? No, I don't. What the hell, purple? What the hell was that? You got splitters. I don't think... I don't even remember what they're called. It's been so long since I played this game. Let's try to kill the purple guy. Would this make you mad? Oh, we were so close there. Edward. Yeah, I get to kill Edward and Persephone today. Did he fire the same damn shot? Yeah, I got tracers on, by the way, because um, it helps make the game go faster. And that is what I am looking to do today. 690 should be enough. This is your brain on Scorch. Down he goes. Remember the Alamo. Well, she. It's Persephone, of course. And now we are ready to take on the dumbass down there. I'd probably just keep it at the same angle and just reduce my power by a ton. I'm probably going to go for like 450, somewhere around there. That's, not, that's good. Merry Christmas, that is probably not. Oh, that was so close. Hasta la vista, baby. This game is old. Have I mentioned that enough? Uh, I have... Yes, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Uh, oh, that doesn't count. Alright, probably just like one or two more. I shall oil my turret with your blood. Of course not. Of course you don't. And I have one round one. So that's one round. Uh, they do speed up a little bit over time. I actually made that look 
pretty easy uh, because, well, I've played this quite a bit. I do have $12,000 cash, and now we can look at all the upgrades that are in this game, and the upgrades are possibly the best thing about this game. Uh, we've got regular missiles, which, of course, will blow up bigger than the baby missiles. Baby missiles are infinite, though. You will have them forever. You also have baby nukes and nukes, pretty much the same thing, except with a larger explosion. You got leapfrogs, which does exactly what you think it would, just like the picture says. It leaps. It bounces. Uh, we've got the funky bomb, uh, which I will probably show off later. It is funky. Uh, we've got a merv, which I believe is what the purple guy had. As you can see, they are freaking expensive. He's not supposed to be able to have those yet. Uh, there's also napalm, uh, which is awesome. It works just like napalm. There's also tracers, but... I have tracing on all the time. Uh, we've got rollers. Rollers are very, very nice. I probably will be purchasing some of them and showing those off. We got riot charge, riot blast, riot bomb, and heavy riot bomb. Those, I've never been a fan of those. They create more dirt out of nothingness uh, to give yourself a little bit of defense, which I guess I kind of understand but still uh then we got diggers uh baby regular and heavy to get rid of all the dirt we've got a sand hog to bore through the dirt uh dirt clods dirt ball ton of dirt uh those um they fire like a missile and then we'll create dirt when when they land as opposed to the riot stuff uh which will create it around you um and it, usually at an angle, but you can try to dig yourself out of it later. Uh, kind of like the uh, the missile command. It is missile command, right? Or no, space invaders. Uh, the space invader strategy where you burrow yourself underneath one of the bases and shoot a hole through, that's what uh, the uh, the riot stuff is for. Uh, so that you can create that stuff and then bore a hole, a hole through it. Uh, we also got, yeah, more dirt. Uh, plasma blast and lasers which are pretty cool but I might not be showing those off uh, there's also these are all the weapons here and then we can also upgrade our tank slightly we can get guidances uh, we can get heat and balance there are a few others as well uh, but they don't show up on your screen if you can't afford them which is very nice uh, we also got parachutes to help in case you should fall if you saw the the green guy did fall a little bit there batteries mag deflectors out defense fuel tanks so that you can drive uh, and contact trigger. Um, I'm just going to go for weapons primarily because I'm not real big on trying to survive as much as I am trying to kill the other guy. Uh, we'll go for baby rollers and... Fuck it, funky bombs. No, missiles. Just in case. Funky bombs we will definitely get, though. I love funky bombs. Oh, the screen's loading from the right now. Holy crap, look at them graphics. At least we'll be able to see everybody this time. And, okay. Here I am. Here's Edward and Persephone. Uh, obviously, I want to go for Persephone first, that, but I am not. might not be able to do it. This is a perfect opportunity for me to show off the baby roller should I be able to get it to work properly, and there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to do that. I should have bought some kind of... Uh, digger here because there's just a huge mound right in front of me that I have to get over and this is probably how I learned geometry as a kid all right let's see what that does yeah just like I thought uh, for some reason wow where is Persephone getting these upgrades and why is she using them on herself she almost killed herself there I don't even know what that was like a Merv. Um, the wind in this game is constant. It has nothing to do with the terrain around you. Let's see, 796. Oh, dead meat. Still not enough power to get over that. I might need to change my angle a little bit more. It says that she's using a baby missile when she fires, but she is clearly not. Let's go for an 83 degree angle. There we go. What do we got? Oh, we might be able to do this. Do you enjoy pain? You are a moron the hell just constantly I think those are those still the mervs you're not supposed to be able to use those all right we need to lower that by probably around there really just a laugh oh so close and Edward's trying to kill himself he cannot stand the glitteriness any longer that should be more than enough maybe I was too short nope got him uh, and away he goes now it's time to turn my sights. We come in peace, shoot to kill on Persephone. Persephone must die. 
All right, we're gonna go for the 80 degree angle, maybe even a little lower, 79, and then let's crank it up pretty much as high as I can go. And then, well, 899, that's decent. See, this is why you don't wanna shoot a, a roller first. I'll, I'll go around that a little bit. All right, let's increase the power. Still can't get over it. Unfortunately, uh, Persephone is pretty much making it so I can't um, use the roller. I'm a brick of your face! And way off screen. Way too powerful there. God. This is usually how, how it, it works. You just try to figure out the angle, try to work it a little bit. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, unfortunately, none of the stuff that I purchased is really going to help here. Uh, probably around there. Oh, still not enough. We're getting closer, though. Thanks to those tracers, it really is helping a lot. And probably around there, 826. I hope you enjoy pain! Die! Oh, come on! But as if you notice, Persephone is now exactly where she was before. Uh, so let's move over to a missile. Why not? In times of trouble, go with what you know. Bigger explosions! Mama said there'd be days like this. And we have one yet again. Three rounds remain. We are getting closer. You see what I mean? Like, the rounds take forever to go through. Uh, luckily, I don't have to explain anything anymore, but still. I uh, knew things for me to purchase. Uh, horizontal guidance, but that's that's it, it looks like. But, like I said, give me the weapons. The weapons are the cool thing here. Uh, we're going to go for... Oh, I can't really do it. Uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, so let's go for, yeah, we'll go, we'll still go for Napalm. Napalm sometimes doesn't kill the opponent, though, but I'm still going to go for Napalm. Um, and then we'll go for Diggers. It's always nice to have some Diggers, just in case. As you saw last time, they probably would have helped. And there doesn't seem to be any dirt here. Are we seriously just going to all be on the ground? This is a very nice background, but seriously. What, what's going on? Oh, no! Wow, okay, I have never seen this before. This is this is an upgrade. Um, wow, we're actually like a part of the scenery. That is really cool. All right, uh, back to baby missiles just so I can uh, get my range here. Uh, you don't want to use a baby roller. I'll try to show that off if they'll let me. Uh, yeah, baby roller, if I shot there, would have killed me. How did that not kill yourself? How did that not do it? Okay. Uh, we still want to be sure here. The wind is so much against me. I didn't even notice that at first. 42 miles an hour against me. I will smash your ugly tank. Okay, this looks like a perfect opportunity to go around there, maybe a little bit higher still, and try to use, oh, napalm would be great here if I can get it to work. Go napalm, take this, you sissy. There we go, go napalm. Did it kill? Yeah, it didn't kill. Oh, it did kill, very, very nice. Mama said knock you out. This game is old. <laughs> God, that is an old reference. Uh, have you guys even... even have, what is his name? Have you even heard of LL Cool J? You know, he didn't always do movies. Yeah, he wasn't always in uh, Deep Blue Sea. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Yeah, look at that wind. Parting is such sweet sorrow. And then let's go up to around there. Don't worry, it isn't a live round. I lied. Die, cummy pig. And he almost killed himself. We're just going to increase my power. We're just going to keep the same angle. You're toast! Oh, that was almost it. In your face! You are an idiot, my friend. I hope you know that. Victory is mine! Oh, come on! Don't worry, it isn't a live round. Zonk! <laughs> and I still haven't gotten a chance... Oh, wow, that almost killed me. Still haven't gotten a chance to use the baby rollers, but that would have been a great opportunity right there if he did not die. And I have won yet again, which has given me three rounds, and Edward, since he killed himself, has negative money now. 
you you get penalized in this game if you kill yourself. It's just a nice little tactic that they put in there. Uh, don't have any new things here, uh, but we shall purchase the funky bomb, and yeah, I think that's good. I'll save my money for something better later on. There we go. Something that I recognize. This is what the game was for a long time. And hopefully I get a chance to use the rollers here. Damn it. Okay, yeah, you are hard to find. Okay, I'm up here. Persephone's there. Edward is here. Um, this is If I can get it to work, this is, once again, a perfect opportunity to use the baby rollers. Any kind of roller. Yo, dead meat! Almost there. Almost there. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Uh, let's see. Probably around there. 408, that'll do it. Attack! Too much. Way too much. We come in peace. Shoot to kill! Seriously. What the hell? That would kill most most people, but not Persephone. I have seriously no idea what's going on with Persephone. All right, let's let's try the baby roller at there. Knock knock. Okay, so it didn't work as well as I had thought, but it should work. Should I just fire it again? There we go. Die, tank scum. And I overshot it. You kidding me? You're, you're wasting all my baby rollers. Uh, probably just like eh, eh, eh. there. Show some respect. Damn it. It rolled the other way. So it rolls down and then when it hits the bottom it blows up. That's that's what it does. God, my baby rollers will work. Eat my shorts. There we go. Oh down goes Persephone. Now I'm gonna have to see what I can do about Edward over there. Cause this is probably gonna take a while and I probably have to take on all the uh No, I can use the baby rollers, but I'm going to have to find our oh, the diggers. No, the baby rollers would be better if I just can get on the other side of uh to the other side of the mountain and then we can take them out from the bottom and then uh take them out from there. Yeah, there we go. So now if I just lower it by that, switch over to baby rollers, and fire from there. I told you to leave my sister alone. Damn it. There we go. Down and it rolled. Oh, oh, that was so close. I'm trying to get him to die down there, but it's not playing very nice. Let's try the baby roller again. I could spare you, but why? Hopefully that blows up. Oh, come on. He's getting so close to falling exactly where I need him to go. This is your brain on scorch. Yes. Oh, I got him. I got them. Baby rollers for the win. Hope you enjoy pain. The upgrades will save me here. Oh, man. And down he goes. Unfortunately, you do need uh, bombs for all occasions. Let's buy more baby rollers. That is definitely something that I need. And then... Um, I still have the funky bombs. Oh, no. A lot of this stuff is very expensive, but is, is never really worth it. We'll go for the plasma blast. That probably is. I, my memory of this game is varied, but from what I remember, that is a good upgrade that I definitely want. Let's move on and take on whatever this is. Very nice graphics upgrade that they have given it. I definitely don't remember this. Knock, knock, you're dumb. Uh, let's go for not a baby roller, uh, not a digger, not a plasma. Yeah, there we go. And then... Uh, if I can get close, then we'll, we'll we'll upgrade from there. No wind. Very, very nice. I wonder what this button does. Not enough. And then, once again, Persephone... Holy crap, that almost hit me. There is lightning in this game. I forgot about that. Um, lightning can kill you. And it is complete... Oh, perfect. No, I never liked you, Persephone. Burn. Lightning, yes, it can kill you. It is random, uh, but it definitely can wreck your day. Uh, let's up it. Go up. Oh, I got damaged a little bit because the max that I can do now is 600. So let's uh, upgrade to Plasma Blast. 
Don't forget about me! What the hell? Did I kill myself? What the hell was that? I swear that okay, funky bomb then. Ha ha ha. There we go. Well there's a funky bomb. It didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping. It didn't go as far as I wanted. Uh, so I'm gonna have to decrease my angle because uh, I, apparently I got hit, so so my power is low. And that's that's why that is. Uh baby missile again. Just who do you think you are? Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll go for a 68 then. Bl blood, pain, violence! Ah! Die, alien swine. That guy is stupid. I shall flatten you! Boom! Down he goes! Turned into dust and then disappeared. And that is the game! And I had a flawless victory! Hope you guys have enjoyed this game, a blast from my past. Uh, I do wish to bring uh, more old games, especially DOS games actually, uh, since they, are, they tend to be shorter, uh, into the, the random series. Hope you guys do enjoy them. Uh, I know not everybody will, especially you younger viewers, but I hope you have enjoyed at least me going through a little nostalgia here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.